Have you ever thought of the so many times during tefillah, morning or even afternoon, that you have to stand up? You come to shul, you open the sidur, you get to Hashem Melech, you gotta stand up. Baruch She'amar, stay up. Vayvarech David, same thing. Amida, well obviously the Amida is the moment that we have to stand because it is called the Amida. But it's not just about the prayers. We have in the Torah some specific mitzvot about standing up. The Torah says, Whenever you see someone old, you have to stand up for that person. And the same halacha applies for your rabbi, for your parents, for a Sefer Torah that passes on. There is a whole bunch of halachot that tells you how to stand, when to stand, how long to stand, when they come, within which area you have to stand. There's a whole thing behind the idea of standing up. Standing up for someone, standing up for something. And usually, the idea, the sevara behind is that you show respect. When you stand in front of someone, then you show that you respect that person. Even in the American culture, everybody understands, before uh, sports games, when the team is supposed to be standing for the flag or for the national anthem, this is how they show respect. This is how they show their allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. And in the English language, when I say the word I stand for, I stand with, it's not a physical effort that I do, but it's more about the values. It's about my brain, it's about my intellect, it's about my uh, ideas that I share with that person, that, and I stand with that person in whatever he believes. And the question is, where is this coming from? Why? is the action of standing so symbolic, so revealing about respect, values, morals, etc. And the answer is actually quite simple. When you think about us, the human beings, we are born, we can't stand. It's something, it's a process that we have to actually train ourselves for. And you know, it's interesting that parents are usually filming and celebrating the first steps of the baby. I think that before the baby steps, the, baby, the baby's walking, is also a moment of celebration when the child is able to stand, which is the step right before that. Because standing is extremely meaningful. The human being is supposed to be a standing person. Which means that there is an idea where, unlike the animals who are usually walking on four feet, we walk on two feet because we are supposed to be standing people. That's who we are. That defines us. And even in the physical outlook, think about the fact, compare a person that is standing with a person that is sitting. Well, the person standing is simply or looking bigger because that shows the concept of greatness. It shows that we have to aspire, we have to have ambitions to continuously grow and reach the maximum of our height, not just our physical height, but our spiritual, emotional, intellectual height. And the idea of standing reminds us, ourselves, that we can be in front of someone who is greater, bigger, or that we have a task ahead of us. We have a potential in ourselves that is bigger than what we expected until now. And we have to continue to demand and to push ourselves towards that goal. The reason that I'm saying all this today is because this week's parasha, it's a small, tiny parasha, only 40 pesukim, parashat nitzavim, is part of the last words of the will, of the testament of Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu is about to depart to the Olam HaEmet. He's going to leave the Jewish people. And every word that he's going to share with them is so meaningful, is so powerful, and it's supposed to have an impact for the rest of their lives and ours as well. And he starts the parasha with a bold, straight statement of Atem Nitzavim Hayom Kulechem Lifnei Hashem Eloheichem. There is here an element of shock. He's trying to shake them up. He's trying to make an impact. And what does it say? 
אתם ניצבים היום. You are standing. Because he wants to remind us with a real perspective. What do we stand for? Or more specifically, who do we stand before? And he tells us, אתם ניצבים, the greatness, the potential you have as standers, people who stand up, human beings, עמא נבחר, is that you stand before God. And you know when? היום. אתם ניצבים היום. It's not just Rosh Hashanah, I know that היום is היום ערת עולם, but היום is also, כל יום יהיו בעיניך כחדשים. Today, every day, that you wake up, When you are in bed, the first action that you do after you wake up is you stand. What are you going to stand for today? Why will you fight for? Who will you fight against? Oh, who will you help? What will you do that will make you a person who deserves to stand up and high? And he tells us, Kulechem, atem nitzavim hayom, Kulechem, rashechem, shivtechem, ziknechem, It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter of your social status, of your financial status, and even of your health status. At the end of the day, there's always something that you can do, you can achieve, and be great. Because this is the goal. Man was created to resemble to God. Man was created to elevate himself, to stand up, and to make every single day a greater, better day than the one before. So all these silly halachot during tefillah, it's not, it's not just details. It puts, us, it puts us in the mood that when we pray to Borei Olam, what happens at that moment, with Baruch She'amar, Vayvarech David, and especially the Amidah, at that moment, we have to do some kind of external action to put ourselves in the right mood. That what we are doing right now is great, is very special. We have to freeze the moment We have to take the opportunity to stop and think, reflect on what we do, and use that moment with its full potential. This is the message of the parasha. And of course, when we have achieved, when we achieve whatever we were supposed to do, and we can stand tall on Rosh Hashanah, can be proud, look back at what we did, at our actions, at our achievements, on the people's lives that we are affected positively. And there's Rat Hashem, we should be zoche for Shana, Tova, Umetuka, full of berachot and hatzlaha in everything that we do. Shabbat Shalom and Borach.